If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too, and we would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to another mod video. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 mods that I feel like you need in your game for 2019. So depending on the way you play, you may just want a couple of these. You may want all of them like I do. <laughs> so these are just mods that I feel like, like I just need in my game, and they're just great additions to my gameplay. So I recently did a video. I've done lots of videos, actually, that are just like mods that are for better gameplay or make your gameplay experience experience just more fun, exciting, um, add realism. So this one is just kind of like ones that I just, I guess they just add to your gameplay and give you better gameplay. So we're just going to get straight on into this. Um, I'm not going to include mods like the Slice of Life mod, MC Command Center, uh, Road to Fame, because I've mentioned those a lot of times in other videos. So um, I just recently did a video very recently about a bunch of mods that I'm like obsessed with right now. If you guys want to check that out, it was very recent. Um, maybe, maybe I'll try to remember to link it down below. But anyways, it's very recent on my channel anyway. So <laughs> this sim here is just um, a sim that's in Plumbella's save. I actually would have included Plumbella's save in this video, like in this list, except that's not a mod. It's just a save file, but definitely recommend that save. It's amazing. It's my favorite. So yeah, everything you're seeing is from her save. I obviously just added custom content onto the sims, but the family was already here. So we are going to get started into this. We have a couple, we have two teens and a child in the house, but obviously the teens and the child are at school. So um, the first one I'm going to show you guys is the passionate romance mod. So this is a new mod. And if you guys did not see my video, Video on it, my separate video. You guys can check that out if you want an in-depth um, review, but this is by Sacrificial and it's just, you can see it here. There's a little new menu and there's all these cute things. I'm obsessed with this. This has to stay in my game forever. And you guys, he plans to update it. Uh, by the way, Goose is an interaction from The Sims 2 and Sims 2 fans, you're going to like this. It's so cute. We'll also have him do it as well. Um, <laughs> That's such a Sims 2 interaction and I seriously love it. So if your Sim does not have a romantic relationship with the Sim, they will kind of like slap them in the face. So that's great for some drama. Oh, why, why can't I click on you? There we go. Um, all right. So passionate romance, goose, and <laughs> we'll do a couple others. Um, let's see. I won't do all of them because I have like a full review on it, but let's do snuggles really cute. Who's calling? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Um, okay. But this is like so, so cute if you're all about like the romance stuff with your sins. How cute is this? Isn't this the cutest thing ever? Like, can we take a moment? They look so adorable. So yeah, there's going to be an update to this with like a new like romance system or like crush system and stuff like that, which I thought was super duper cool. Um, and then let's do one more um, just so you guys can get a feel of it if you guys haven't seen it before. Um, ooh, let's actually, let me show you guys the romantic selfie. So this is a good one. Um, so if you want like more selfies, for your sims and you know you just want the cute photos for your sims wall especially like if wait that wasn't the manual one let me do it again that was like the one they just do it <laughs> but there is oh okay here we go romantic selfie manually oh my god you know we have all this stuff popping up we have a lot going on in the game right now <laughs> okay so let's do it manually there we go this is the one where it'll come up like Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. And there's so many different poses. I'm not going to show you guys them all, but I do show them off in my separate review. But isn't this amazing? And all of the poses, they fit in both. Um, whether you want to do this way or this way, it doesn't matter. It works. Um, so I think this is amazing. You know, your sims just started dating. They're all cutesy. You can take these cute photos for the wall. So that is the first mod. The second mod, you guys, is also by Sacrificial and... It is a good one. So it's the Life's Drama mod, and I haven't talked about this in a little while. I also did like a separate review on it too, because I do, I'm obsessed with mods, and then you know. <laughs> so this enables drama to happen around your sims. You can enable dramatic situations around this sim. Um, I ha already have it enabled, and you can like expose loved one. You can do so many different things. Um, so basically, if you were to, let's see, which one should we do? Um... Oh my god, there's so many. I don't know which one I want to do. Oh. Um, let's let's do okay, we'll we'll do a couple. Um, let's do a sim giving birth situation. So basically, if you do that, I'm pretty sure stuff happens on its own as well. I'm pretty sure 
that happened in my review. I don't know. Um, but like if you want it to just happen, um, you want things to be happening in your game, all the stuff going on, you can like make it happen. Um, and then like a random sim will be giving birth and you kind of got to like look for them. So it's pretty cool. Um, especially like if you do the super dramatic ones also, like you can make multiple things happen at once. So like, let's do another thing while we kind of wait. So life's drama, we could do a flirty couple situation. We could do... You can even do a gang up situation. <laughs> are we gonna, are we about to make our game crazy? Okay, so the Sims giving birth somewhere. Um, proposing, uh, sh sh she'll be giving birth for a little bit. So we all good, what am I doing? Life's drama, exposed cheater. Like you can just make your game so crazy. Like seriously, click all of these. Runaway bride, you guys. C can we take a moment? <laughs> Wait, a uh, Sims pregnant over there. Is she the one? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then let's do Sim on Fire. We'll just click a bunch of them and we'll go around and kind of see everything that's happening, um, which will be cr crazy. Trouble making kids. So um, if you, I believe if you kind of hover over them, it'll say if they're like one of the Sims that are a part of the drama going on. Is this one of them? Oh, there's a victim. I don't know if this is the gang up one. Um, oh, so he is, yeah, gang member. Okay. So he's going around causing mischief and she's a victim. I love that. Like you just have more things going on, you know? And if your Sims around, they can kind of speak up or maybe get into trouble with them. I don't know. Where's this Sim giving birth? I kind of want to know. <laughs> I don't know where the Sim is, but there should be like a lot going on, you guys. Maybe I missed it, but we can always make another Sim go, uh, into labor um if we cannot find it um who, who are you a dating couple okay so no one's here with her yet but someone should show up or she'll like walk to them i guess um ooh, what's going on here um who are you a dating a couple uh a dating couple and then pregnant in labor so apparently she is the one in labor okay she wasn't like screaming in pain i didn't even know it She's just fine. She's just standing here. <laughs> um, she'll eventually definitely have the baby though. Then we have a groom. Um, oh, so there should be a runaway bride. Uh, are you anyone? Gang member. Um, oh, ooh, ooh. What, what, what is this? Wait, don't leave. <laughs> cheater, secret relationship, and then the cheater. Oh, okay. Cheater, significant other. So they're flirting. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh no. What is this? Oh, he's still the groom. Where's your bride though? Where's your runaway bride? Oh, there she is. Oh my God, isn't this so funny? She's running. <laughs> I think it's so funny. She's like, ah, get me out of here. He's running across like, oh my God, just so much is going on. And I think it's so funny, especially if your sim was out and you were like having all this stuff go, around, go on around them. So there is that. Um, yeah. <laughs> the next one is actually a kitchen item. So I have it placed down. Basically, this is a juice blender, you guys. Have you guys seen this before? I love this. So this is not even like a new mod. Um, I mean, not all of these are going to be new. Obviously, like Passionate Romance is new. And then um, Life Drama has been around for a little bit, but it's not like insa insanely old or anything. But this, I don't even know how long it's been around, to be honest. But this allows you to basically make like smoothies. I guess it's like juice, but like, isn't this cool? Like I think of it as like a smoothie maker, like, you know, because we just need a blender in the game. And this is the closest to it. <laughs> so right now we can only make orange juice because you need apples and all that stuff, but we can actually like buy a couple things. Um, but let's have him come over here and make some orange juice. Um, do we have like some sort of plant Okay, we don't have really any plants around, but that's fine. So, oh wait, did did it come out and did I totally miss it? Okay, you know what? It's fine. She's going to do it. Um, Actually, blend juice, orange juice. Um, But yeah, it got orange all over. I think that's super duper cool. And then, yeah, you can just drink your orange juice and you can make any juice you want. Can he not drink it? Why can't you drink it, bro? You should be able to. I don't know why he can't drink it. It's a regular, like, I don't think that has to do with the mod. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. 
Okay. I don't know why they can't drink it, but let me know if your Sims will drink it because I tested this out recently and it did let my Sims drink it. So I'm not sure why they can't drink it now, but it is just regular orange juice. So I don't know if something's just going on here, <laughs> but they can't drink that at the moment. Um, there was just a recent update. I don't know if it's because of that, but keep that in mind, I guess. But like this is regular orange juice, like, you know, when you grab a drink from the fridge. So it's nothing different than that. It's just basically, you know, you can make juice out of all the different fruits and you should be able to drink it usually. Um, let me know if your Sims suddenly can't drink juice because I want to know. But either way, you can have this be kind of a way for your Sims to make like quote unquote smoothies or just make a juice in the morning, you know? It'll fill them up a little bit. And hopefully my Sims can soon drink the orange juice again because that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> um, so there is the blender mod uh, or juicer mod, I guess. Yeah, juicer mod. Um, so the next one is more holiday icons. So this is with the calendar and oh, we have a meet a celebrity thing. So this may seem like something you don't really need in your game for like a better gameplay, but if you love holidays, then this will definitely make a difference for you. So for me personally, this is better gameplay for me. I have kept this in my game ever since it came out. It's by Little Miss Sam. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna have like all these mods down below so you'll know who all the creators are. I just can't remember all of them off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so I've kept this in my game ever since Little Miss Sam came out with it. And basically, if you guys have seasons, you may know that when you go onto the calendar, there's really not that many like options. But as you see, like I have so many, <laughs> but if your game doesn't have this, you don't have that many options. And I noticed when I would get creative with holidays, I'm like, well, what do I put for this? I don't know. I don't even know. So I'm like, okay, I've had this in my game so long. I'm like, wait, which ones come with the game? Which one doesn't? But I know that these ones don't, these are like kind of crazy, but like literally you could do like ice cream day. <laughs> and like, there's so many things like, isn't it cool? Like, look, 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 look. <laughs> I like, I'm like so excited like a little kid, but there's just, there is an icon for everything. Even if you want to do something like with the aliens or like, okay, you're, um, you have like a delivery date, you're expecting your baby on this day. You can put that in the calendar. Like you can put cute things like that. You don't have to just put extravagant holidays, like, um, you know, Christmas and, uh, or winter fest <laughs> or like harvest fest you can put things that you like want your sims to remember or like your sims anniversary and there's all these cute icons or like i don't know you can just put so many cute things like you're going to get a puppy this day um all these cute things this kind of like makes your imagination go you know because it'll make you think of different ideas that you want to do for holidays for so for me personally this is like a must-have wow i don't know what you would use that for but <laughs> there's just so many different things the possibilities are endless you can create so many different holidays that aren't even necessarily holidays you can use holidays in so many other ways like just to um you know a d something's coming on a certain day or you want to or like your sims anniversary whatever you want to do put it in and now you have so many icons so that you can do that so that's super awesome there's that one that's a super simple one but definitely something that i need in my game and some of you guys may also need if you didn't know about that um yeah so the next one is actually has to okay this one has to do with the map so so i had to include this because so many of you guys ask me about it um i've done videos on it but still i get so many questions about it especially in my let's plays and just like random videos where i travel to the map um and i'm not talking about what it is basically there is these map overlays so this is not something that changes the like how the game looks like when you're actually playing as you guys can see my game looks normal but it changes the map. So it's just like an overlay. Basically, the lots are still the same. All of these lots that look all cool, that's just from Plumbella save. So if you're in like the base save, like the regular, you know, you just start up your game, you don't have any custom saves or anything like that. Basically, you'll just see this map, like, you know, if you don't have this, then you can tell the difference. <laughs> and it kind of looks more drawn, more detailed, prettier. Some people prefer the original ones, but this is it's like 
this is super popular. Like so many people, I've seen so many videos on it. So many people downloading this, like it's popular. Um, so if you've been wondering about it, um, it'll be linked down below, of course. So yeah, I have, I have it for every single world. Um, and Willow Creek looks so pretty. It seriously looks so nice. I love this. Like, look at all the drawings here. Look how the water looks. I just like this vibe. It's so pleasing to the eye to me. And there is some maps that look better than others like they all look amazing but like newcrest for example you guys know how simple newcrest is and now look at it isn't this awesome i think it looks amazing <laughs> if you guys see newcrest before you put this in and then you put this in it's such a difference like newcrest looks alive you guys what all the surroundings newcrest suddenly looks alive and it's just it's more pleasing when you're placing down lots when you're adding in households when you're traveling it just looks better um for me like it may seem silly but like surprisingly for me and a lot, a lot of other people we all like need it sometimes there's things that you don't even realize you need in your game and then you have it and you're like wow this makes such a difference <laughs> um kind of like reshade i'm not going to talk about that in this video because that's more of a program than a mod to me um but there's videos on that if you guys ever wonder how my game's so bright that's reshade and i made my own preset called fantasia fx um so if you guys want your game to look more alive like this and then you want your actual gameplay like when you're playing with your sims to look more alive i definitely recommend reshade so many people have different presets or you can make your own but i have fantasia fx if you type that in google it'll come up and then you can watch a tutorial and reshade but anyway i'm rambling <laughs> um so yeah also this world just came with get to work so it's just a shopping district world like nobody really like this world doesn't really matter your sims aren't supposed to live here or anything like that but this makes it look so much better it kind of makes you want to go shop here even though when you're down here it'll look the same when your sims are actually like on the lots still just this looks so pretty look at the pink trees <laughs> it's so nice okay and then windenburg looks like this i think windenburg is absolutely beautiful and this like when i say beautiful i mean beautiful without this too but it's so beautiful that when you add this on top of it it just complements it so well i feel like i don't know if it's just me look at this there's a plane <laughs> and look the little sea monster in the water like it's there that's so cool and i love like all the houses the way the roads look the snowy mountains so cool saying my shoe note looks awesome as well they all look awesome but this one is some people say it's overwhelming because of all the buildings again i just really like it like i'm just i, I love this art style so i'm a fan <laughs> i think they did a great job and then forgotten hollow forgotten hollow is like creepy in a good way look how like creepy and dark and mysterious it looks like it already looks mysterious to begin with and this just like just just ups its game look at look at these look at the rocks oh i love it <laughs> um and then we have brindleton bay i want to show you guys all of them because you don't you can download them all separately so if you don't want all of them maybe there's just like one map like you're really not feeling i know a lot of people are actually really excited for brindleton bay and i can see why look at this <laughs> it's like brindleton bay was made to look like this there's so many trees it looks so okay i like love that because they didn't have to include like all the cows here if you guys when you're playing the game and you look out to the distance there's like fake cows going around just like a farm area and there's cows walking they look a little funny when you zoom in but they didn't have to include this and they did i love it <laughs> and yeah it just looks super nice they included everything also props props to them because um i can never say the creator's name right by the way so just yeah but you'll see the creator down below props to them because i know this probably takes forever to plan out because look how detailed it is okay so del sol valley what do you mean this ups del sol valley to a whole other level you guys del sol valley is small a lot of people were disappointed in it and like yeah there's still this empty space like you can't use this but it just it just makes it feel better i don't know I know me personally, this just made me happier to go to the map view of Del Sol Valley, and I love it. I love this area, and I love that they included the Ferris wheel. It just looks beautiful. So that is all the maps, you guys. Um, if you guys ever wondered, if you're someone who asked me before, and maybe I didn't see your comment, or I got back to you, but you didn't see my reply or anything like that, then yeah, that is that. 
Okay, you guys, so I just cut out. I don't know what I was saying when I left off, but I know I was like going to the next mod, but I had to wait for the kids to come home for school. So the teens and the child are home now and the next couple mods have to do with teens. So um, yeah, we had to wait for them to come home, but perfect timing though, because <laughs> I didn't have to wait that long. Um, so this one is a teen career set. Now there's been like a mod in the past that allows um teens i think it oh no wait i think it was a mod that allowed the adults to have the teen jobs yeah well this one i recently saw on mod the sims and i was like super excited about it so um basically we can just find a job and this wh where are you going dude he's trying to go to sleep what do you mean get up he's like i'm home from school i'm ready to go to bed i'm in my robe it's 3 20 good night this was a rough school day <laughs> So this adds like the most amazing jobs for teens to me. I like actually am obsessed. <laughs> so usually they just have babysitter, barista, uh, manual labor, I think retail employee. And is that it? I don't know. They don't get that many, but now we get a camp counselor. Okay. They're like so cool. Like just the way they sound, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> Dog walker. They're so perfect. <laughs> Lifeguard, um, movie theater operations. Like how perfect is that for a teenager? I, I love pet store associate. We have retail sales associate, spa front desk associate. We have a tutor. That's perfect too. Um, and then, um, valet parking attendant am i saying that right or is it like valet i don't know <laughs> um after oh no wait not this this is a separate mod <laughs> this is the after school activities mod i recently did a video um with that okay so yeah that's actually it I, I thought there was more but no um this is what you get so this is so cool you guys i'm gonna have him join something we can also have the other teen join something we'll have him do we'll have him be a lifeguard this is as close to superhero as it uh as you'll get you learn how to save lives and keep people having fun at your local pool or water park while some uh swim related establishment establishments offer cpr training not all do before you apply check the places you're hoping to work to make sure you're qualified so that is super cool i love the descriptions for all of them they all have great descriptions so there we go he is a lifeguard you know it works just like the part-time jobs he's still in school um so as you guys know teens can get part-time jobs obviously that happen like after school or some of them happen before school i think the manual labor you go really really early but this one is 4 p.m to 8 p.m perfect amount of hours and then you know we'll check out another one in case there's different hours i didn't look <laughs> um and yeah i don't even know what she would be so we'll just pick a random one Okay, so it looks like the hours are basically the same for all of them, but not 100%. So, like, the, a lot of them end at 8 p.m., but then, like, the movie theater one ends at 9 p.m., which totally makes sense for the movie theater. So, well, she can do that. And then, you know, as you guys see, she doesn't go every single day. Um, and, yeah, so that's how that works. And that's pretty much it. It just works like a regular part-time job. So, that's fun. The next one, you guys, also has to do with teens, and I think I set them up with a bunch of friends. I think it was him that I set up with a bunch of friends, so he's going to have to plan it, just like a bunch of random teen friends. So this one, plan a social event. So this one is teen parties. So this is by Kawaii Stacy, and it's one of her newer event mods, and I love her event mods. I haven't talked about this one yet, actually. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a separate video on it that's like more in-depth or not. I haven't yet, but I might. Um, however, if I don't, there, I'm pretty sure there's other reviews already. Teen how house party. This is so cool. It's time to hit up all of your friends and throw one of those amazing house parties. Don't forget to make room for all of those unwanted guests. So, um, you can build your reputation, earn fame, and gain followers. I think it's cool. <laughs> um, you can invite Sims, obviously. We'll just invite all the teens that he knows and then host. We'll have it be both of the teenagers, but you know, he, she doesn't know any teens yet, so I guess she's going to meet them all. <laughs> um, and then you can just have it be at the house or literally anywhere you want. So we're just going to have it be at the house and then you have goals, of course. So some of the things, you know, chat with the guests, dance, have Sims eating, take pictures together, and then it just works like any other event. All the Sims will start coming in. You can plan it on the calendar if you want to and we got a green sim <laughs> so they should start rolling in i don't know how long they'll take but yeah you can have like a teen party the parents go out and you have this party um i told a few friends about your party so if you see any new faces just know they're with me so they can bring other people that you didn't even invite 
Um, apparently multiple people did that, so that's lovely. He just gained a good reputation because it can, you know, do that. So I don't know how many sims are going to show up. Are they really bringing other people for real? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, but yeah, so let's start, like, everyone's mad, apparently. Let's have them start just, like, chatting, bright and day, and, like, you know, you gotta meet the Sims, and we'll do a couple things with this, and then we'll move on to the next thing. It, everyone's saying they are going to, you know, just casually, um, just, uh, just bring more Sims. <laughs> What do you mean? Let's give props. Um, are you coming in your robe and all? That's great. That's great. <laughs> so you would definitely need like a stereo for this. And then of course, teen parties, you gotta have that food. I definitely recommend like ordering some pizza ahead of time. Way easier. That gives like the vibe. Uh, depending on what kind of storyline you're going for, you could totally have a bar, make some drinks. You know, they're doing some drinking that maybe they shouldn't be doing because the parents aren't home, something like that. Maybe the parents come home and find out. You know, there used to be a situation like that in The Sims 3. The, the parents could leave and then the teens could stay home and they would tell you like not to have a party and stuff like that. And you could throw a teen party. And if you were you know, if your parents find out, you get in trouble and stuff. So I thought that was really cool. So this is kind of a little kind of throwback to that in a way. Like you could pretend. Uh, so yeah, apparently some people have started eating, but that's pretty much that mod. So like I said, I may do a video like in depth on that and do the whole event. But for now, I just wanted to like show you guys, give you like a feel of it. And you could have like a party room and everything or bring everyone out to the backyard and have like them all just hanging out here, have a fun time, have the music going, all of that fun stuff. Um, I personally would like to do a teen party either in a like teen party room um, or just out in the backyard. I think that would be the funnest way to do it. So there's that one. Um, we're, we're, we don't need to show the whole thing. We'll be here forever. <laughs> Apparently we got a, a bronze medal. Okay. So the next one, um, I guess we can try it with this teen since we haven't done anything with her yet. Um, so we can also do it with the adults, but they're taken. So this is the Simda dating app and I have done a video on this as well. And what am I doing? You need to do it on the phone. So you do it on the phone through here, not like through there. So Simda dating app. Um, if you guys haven't heard about this, oh my god, I'm sure you guys have, but if you haven't or if you don't know if you want it in your game and you've never seen a video on it, I definitely recommend it. You can, basically it's like online dating from The Sims 3, um, and I was so excited when this happened because I've always wanted online dating back because it's such a fun way to create different storylines, have your Sims meet different people. You can even meet friends from here, maybe it doesn't work out, you know what I mean? So yeah, specific date, this you can pick a specific person. You could do a blind date where it's just like a random person shows up. You can pick a female blind date or a male blind date depending on who your sim's interested in. One night stand, you can just hook up with this. You know, if you don't want MC commands on your game that causes issues for you, here you go. <laughs> um, enable hookup calls, you can just enable them. So yeah, and then you can also disable. So for her, just to have something a little spicy, mysterious we're gonna do a blind date so basically you just click whatever you want and then it just kind of does it for you so if you pick blah, blah, blah. if you pick a specific date then it's a little menu is gonna pop up and you can actually pick who you want to go on a date with which is kind of how it was in the sims 3 you could like pick who you want to message so now we see her this is her blind date so you can pick anywhere you want let's just go to the park and then you can get to know them and even if this is a great way that even if you don't want to be romantic or maybe you try, but it's not working out, it's not, they're not vibing, you can totally just be like, okay, let's just be friends. And it's a great way for your sim to make friends. Um, also great for teens, even though it's kind of weird if like your teens are like online dating, but who cares? Just a game, whatever. <laughs> um, they're, they're on their online dating website. Their parents don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the situation is, whatever they be doing. Um, <laughs> Where's your top lady? <laughs> Are you trying to get, like, you're trying to get down. She's like, hey, what do you think? I didn't put a top on just for you. Okay, girl. I mean, I don't really know if she likes that. But, uh, you, so yeah, you can just chat with them a bit. Um, let, let's have them do that. Let's ask about her day. So the main goal is to socialize and then you can kiss your day, compliment appearance. I don't know if, I can't remember if more come up after that, but those are the three that are there right now. So we'll do the whole socialize one because that's not going to take too long. You just got to do a couple more. Um, let's maybe, let's just do friendly stuff. We're going to have a deep conversation and that should be good. 
So then we'll finish that one. There we go. Okay, yeah. So sit and talk with your date. You know, you can do all this stuff. So that's how that works. It kind of works similar to like a regular date, except you're, you know, you found them online and you don't know who they are. You're meeting for the first time. It could be a hit or a miss. So it's kind of like fun. You know, it spices up your gameplay. So there's that. You can end it at any time, obviously. Um, so the next one, you guys, we're going to have her go home first so that I can show you guys with all the simmies. All right, so we're home, and basically the next one I'm going to show you guys, I have mentioned in the past, but if you're just seeing this video and, you know, you're just into mods, you want to know about new ones, then this one is UI extension mods. So, um, another reason I wanted to talk about this is actually because I get questions all the time about this too. Every single time I do a mod video and I don't mention this, people are like, how did you do that? How did you just click that and get rid of that? How did you just raise their mood like that? I get all these questions. So if you're one of those people, then basically UI extension mod is just a mod, a mod like any other mod that allows you to do whatever you want with your Sims mood and their emotions and everything. So one thing you can do is just click and raise their needs over here. Look, look, I could just, you know, I do this all the time or you can lower them. Whatever you want to do, you want to make your sim tired to fix their schedule. Maybe their schedule is all wonky. You have them say suit I was super late the other night and then you have them sleep in. Now they're not tired and they have to go to work in the morning. Well, just just do that. And then they can go to bed sooner. <laughs> That's super convenient. Or if your sim's gonna like die, even if you don't like to cheat your sim's mood, a lot of times I'll use this if like if I have a toddler and they're like this hungry, like ah! I just seriously, oh my god, I just killed her. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my gosh, we killed the sim. Okay. I am so sorry. What's your name? I'm so sorry, Ariella or Ariella. I'm not sure. Oh my god, I, I just killed her. Okay, I didn't mean to put it that low. Not joking. Don't do that. Don't do that unless you want to kill your sim. I mean, that's a fast way to kill your sim. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god. This is almost the last mod. We got one more after this. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. Okay. So, oh, here's a good example though. Maybe this was meant to happen because now he's sad. Say you want to get rid of that. Say a random sim dies that your sim's not even close with and for some reason it's making your sim sad and you're like, what do you mean? That happens all the time in my game. Sims get affected by sims dying that they barely even knew. You know, they never see this sim. They just knew of them and they're like so traumatized by it. Then just right click, poof, gone. So he's sad also from this, but that's just from this, uh, meaningful stories mod that I talked about in the la in the last mod video I did but yeah <laughs> um so you know the sims angry just take it away right click perfect um another thing you can do is you can go into relationships and say you want to cheat a sims relationship for whatever reason even if you want to set up your game as a sim who's like um, I said this before, um, if you want to cheat your, you know, sometimes people cheat their sim skills, for example, because you want your sim to be like a master painter and they start off the, uh, off in the game and they don't know how to paint, but like your story, your story is that they're a master painter. You know what I mean? So then you up their skill so that they can actually be a master painter. So same situation with this. If you want your sim to have certain friends when they start out, you know, you have a certain storyline going, um, then this is a super easy way. So right click again, and this is going to come up and then, you know, you could do like a hundred and then you do a hundred and you got a full relationship. So that's really cool. You can also, of course, lower it. Um, and then another thing you can do is just right click here and you can set the time in your game, which I'm not going to do, but you set it from like zero to 23. So like if you set it to 23, it's going to be 11 PM. So that's really cool and super handy. If you're doing like videos, very handy, but it could come in handy for literally any, anything. So yeah, there's that one. And then I'm trying to think if, there, if there's anything else I could show you guys with. So obviously the skills though, you could still just right click and then just put whatever skill level you want. There we go. Level five. So that's a super easy way to cheat up the skill even faster. Um, obviously you can do other ways like with MC command center. You can also just type in a cheat as well. Um, you don't even need a mod, but that's just another thing you can do with this. My personal favorites that I always use this for is to do this with their needs if I need to. Um, and then just take away a moodlet if I feel like I either did something that was a mistake and I'm like, no, and it was totally an accident or, you know, just they're feeling something they shouldn't really be, be feeling. You know what I mean? So there's that. Um, I can't believe I killed her. So last but not least is something that I don't think I have ever done a video on or mentioned. So I wanted to include this. This is pose player. And then with pose player, we have the sim teleporter. So you don't need both, but this is very handy. Um, if you have a pose where two sims are going to post together, then definitely recommend overlapping. And then you can just teleport them. Uh, I'm including this in case 
one, you either like to just take cute pictures of your Sims, or maybe you also do YouTube videos, you're just starting out. This is a great mod to have, but a lot of people have, look at them. <laughs> this is how it'll look when you do that. Um, a lot of people will not do YouTube, not anything, and they just like to take cute pictures of their Sims for themselves, or you can have your Sim pose and have another Sim come up and take a photo of them and then you can put it on the wall. So that's really cool too. Um, you can do whatever you want. So for example, you know, say you want them to do a couple pose here. We can just go into a pose, pose player. So like I said, that's the teleporter and then this is pose player. They're both separate, but I will have both links down below, but they like go together, you know? <laughs> they don't go together, but you use them together. So um, let's say you can also download animation packs. So if you want certain animations that maybe aren't in the game, like there's this um, animation pack, let's just do it. <laughs> so here, you know, pose one, obviously that's for the girl. And then, um, here is the boy. So this one, they're going to move. So I'll do like a regular one too, where they don't move. Um, so here we go. All right. So, um, they just see, they're just moving there. This is the pose that this is what it is. It's kind of dramatic. <laughs> it's pretty dramatic. Um, he looks really upset. Um, so if you're trying to like create some sort of dramatic scene, something's happening, it, they kind of move their mouth as if they're talking and then he like reaches in and will hug her. So if you don't want the moving ones, by the way, I'm not going to link all the poses down below. I have like way too many. So just if you want the animation poses, just type the Sims 4 animation poses in Google. You'll see a whole bunch. Okay, so now for a regular pose without moving, just a regular pose if you're just into that. Um, let's see, which one do we want to do? Uh, I have quite a few couple poses, so I don't know, let's maybe try this one. I've used this one for some of my thumbnails before, if you guys recognize it. So you can see the guys lit up here, so that's the guys. And then let's do hers. Um, luckily this goes, it, like sometimes it can be hard if you have a lot of pose packs like me and you're like, wait, where was that pose pack? And you're like looking through, but for the most part, it's pretty quick to pose them. So that's nice. It's not like all these different steps. So, um, let's wait for him to get in position. There we go. Isn't that cute? So yeah, you can do family portraits with this. So many different poses, you guys. So that is the last mod and yeah, so they're sad, so that's why their eyes have water. That's from the Slice of Life mod, which I talked about in my other mod videos, or other mod video, I should say. Um, I showed off like 12 mods. I did it recently, um, but yeah, I mentioned that already at the beginning, but if you're wondering about it, <laughs> you can watch there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully some of these mods um, are... I was going to say helpful, but that doesn't really make any sense, but you know what I mean. Hopefully you, you know, maybe you didn't know about some of these or you weren't sure if you wanted them and this kind of helped. And yeah, I definitely recommend these. Um, and then of course, all the mods that I mentioned in my previous video, I recommend all of these and all of those. But if your computer can't handle that many mods, then totally like pick and choose because I think that's like, I, yeah, that's like 22 mods in total. Yeah. Because that one had 12 mods, this has 10. <laughs> so that's a lot. Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, all links down below. Like I said, if you guys want to download them. Ooh, also, I don't know if this is still happening when this goes up, but Sim File Share is having this issue. So if you try to download a mod, any mod, even when I didn't mention, I'm getting so many comments about this. <laughs> um, like you're trying to download a mod, it brings you to Sim File Share, or like it, it's supposed to lead you to Sim File Share, but then it says 404 error. If you're getting that, that's an issue with Sim File Share. The mod is still there. There's not a bunch of creators taking down their mods or anything like that. Just when you are redirected to that, basically in your little search thing, take out the www dot. Take that out and then hit enter again and then it should redirect you to the actual download link. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an issue with some file share. I don't know what's going on. Um, hopefully it's fixed soon, but at least there is a fix to that. So yeah, if that happens to you. Try that out. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to mention that quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much